Hi, Sapin again. Welcome in this second video to teach you about Analyst Mode 101 of OnScale. So I'm starting with the script that I showed you in the first video. So you need to have this one uh, in order to start. And this script creates a grid which is very uniform. So every element have the same size. But now, how would I do if I want to refine element on one portion of the model uh, and not on the other uh, areas. So uh, for that, you need to understand that this geom command can be uh, not only associated to the whole grid, but you can associate those dimensions to a specific portion of the model. So if I click here and I see that it's written x begin x end and y begin y end. Uh, so you can actually provide elements which goes with those uh, two coordinates. So if I say that from, let's say I will divide my grid, I will divide my x axis into two parts from, let's say, z 0 to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 to 1. And for this first portion, I will, let's say, give it, I want from element 1 to element 5. And the second portion will go from element 5 to element 20. So make sure you select all the elements of the grid, because if your grid is bigger than what you assign here, it will not work. So let's try. And now you see that from 0 to 0 0.5, I have only four elements. So this is what I wanted. And from 0 0.5 to 1, I have all the rest 15 elements. So now I am able to uh, separate the model. And you can do the same thing in Y direction as well. So for example, I'm just copy, pasting that and changing that to Y. Let's try. And that's it. So you can refine your grid pretty easily uh, using this kind of comment. Now, of course, um, what I'm show you, I show you here is uh, the very basic to make you understand how this works. Uh, after that, I'll show you how to automate that using variables. So you won't have to type exactly the numbers of elements you want and the dimensions every time. Of course, that would be madness to do that. So I'll show you after that how to create key points and how to uh, basically do all those things pretty automatically, to, but you need to understand the concept here, how this works in order to go to the next step. So thank you for watching. That's all for this video.